Came up a little short of the mark out in the field today, but my wonderful students were able to come to the rescue with a piece of concrete, and I was able to step up to the mark. Bloody marvellous. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Pi. I hope you've had a bloody marvellous day. I certainly have. I happened to be taking a time lapse while all this was happening, so I managed to capture it on film. Bloody marvellous. I didn't have to go quite so early this morning. I could afford to linger at home for just a little bit longer and spend maybe five or ten minutes extra in bed, which was bloody marvellous. So I got off into town and got there for my 8.30 meeting uh, just in time. Uh, we were farewelling one of our colleagues with uh, tea and coffee and, yeah, a bit of food, some croissants, chips and all sorts of things. So uh, that was a, a reasonably good way to start the morning, although, yeah, I was sort of thinking I might live to regret it, but no, I was uh, was all good and got through the day uh, fairly well. So... Yeah, that was once that was over. I went to my class ten till twelve, uh, math class tutorial, got that sorted, and then uh, had a meeting with a uh, student, uh, oldest old student or former student, uh, talking about employment and things. And then my land surveying class uh, after a bite to eat and a lunch and a bit of chit chat with some of my colleagues, my land surveying class was due to start at 2 o'clock, and we got that done. We spent a little bit of time sorting out some paperwork from the previous time, and then went, went out in the field and officially just sort of nailed it, really, which was good. It came out well, um, good miscloses uh, or lack of miscloses, and uh, yes, um, <laughs> uh, that was... Um, that was my uh, my day. Uh, I just noticed there on the way home that uh, I hadn't I couldn't remember locking the container and I hadn't locked it properly, so I went back. But there's a bit of a an electric fence across the gate now, so I've got a few techniques to uh, get over that using a piece of wood that I hide in the bush below the gate. So I came on home and had a bit of tea, and then went live on. YouTube, and uh, then started my social media. So it's about twelve thirty-three, and we've just about got the sort of monologue bit done. And uh, yeah, we should have it all wrapped up by by one. I'm hoping, and then got an eight o'clock start in the morning again. So yeah, but then it's the weekend. I'm not up the hospital. Still got a lot of prep and stuff to do. But hey, bloody marvelous. Um, no yard work today. Well, my lovely wife uh, didn't tell me that she did anything. Uh, three, six uh, steps. I would have thought I'd done more than that. I went for quite a little jaunt across the paddock there, but oh well, maybe not. Uh, tutor shortage uh, there, my uh, joke. Um, and six hours of teaching uh, and four hours of admin. And wow, 81 is in within striking distance. Let's see what happens. The closest meaning of fealty is what? Put your answer in the comments below the video, please. Genophobia is a fear of what? It's a fear of knees. And I sort of, that's what I pretty much picked. And I should have thought of about it when I thought about it. I don't know whether it was after I saw the answer or not, but um, when we used to go to church, we used to genuflect, which meant went down on one knee, genuflect. So that should have been a bit of a giveaway for that one. But uh, anyway, it was David from Desmond Stonders who took this answer, or was the first in with it. So he gets the place on the Hall of Fame. Moz agrees with him, and well, I think I, I would agree because I knew what the answer was. But yeah, I'm uh, quite happy with my genuflect uh, sort of thing there.
think that's uh, pretty bloody marvellous, actually. All good. Fuel legit. This has been a Mario presentation, recorded live in our studio at Narawahia, Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud, a place where Kiwis live in a paradise we like to call God's own country.